So many uses. Now that we've switched to a four stroke, you won't get the, um, the two stroke oil taste in the dill tongue. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. You are for the level, yeah. Quiet, yeah, we popped out uh, for a quick morning session before this uh, wind came in, which is going to hang around for the next couple of days. Ended up with 18 sand whiting, one squid and three King George. I'll roll on the footage now. Top spot. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Things on. Big time? Uh, um, Let's see if that pipe's in a plate in that tank and I'll chuck some water in it. Should be a little white. Why not? What do you got? Oh. Sando. Oh. He's on the honey hole. We've got prawn and blood worm. Really great. Yeah. Oh, it's up. Oh, oh, oh. You better than you think? It's a bit bigger than a um, sand whiting, anyway. What's well, a big whiting? KG. Is it? Oh, it is too. Nice one. Huge beauty. <laughs> Fuck. That's no good. That's awesome. Is that on the bloody one? Nah, bit of coral prawn. Very nice. Uh, 40. What the fuck? Yeah. Is it? Oh no, it's one of those fucking parody Oh, things. fucking goat fish or something. Goaty. Take and drag. It's a Latin. Oh, yeah. King G. King G. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, it's looking KG. Yeah, that's a good one, Clevo. Yeah, he's redeemed himself. Oh, I'm better now. <laughs> Drift number two. 
Yeah, it's a race. Triple it's a race. Hook <laughs> Triple hook up. I don't think it's ever been done on this boat. Yep. It's only small, if it is. Yeah, but it's a fish. Oh, it's one of these little fucking what things. started with before. Yeah, and it's slowly sized up. I've, um, yeah, I've, I've, I've lost the plot. Don't know what's going on. Sandy. Sandy, Sandy baby. <laughs> on the Oki. Oh, Kenny's, Kenny's on. Oh, come on, come on, Cleve. <laughs> I talk to me again. What's that squid? Oh, it's a squid. Oh, nut. Nah. Fuck. Fuck. Got no squid jig. What an amateur. Nut. Nah. Look at him going for the whiting. You might hook him. Oh, you took the whiting. Fuck him. <laughs> you took the whiting? Yeah. Shit, I can't believe. I literally took my squid jig out yesterday. Is he a big, is he a big one? Is he a big one? Yeah. Squid's not getting that one. <laughs> Double banger, Double banger again. <laughs> Settle down. Nice. One's a little one, I'll let the little one go. Get a big cage we've been waiting for. And double oh, banger. double bangers again. Oh. Oh, little fatty again. Another little, little fatties. And look where he's swallowed. Oh, the Kenny's on. Yeah, why do we look at the lens the hook? <laughs> You're too slow. Huh? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh, is that oh, squid again? Oh, that squid again. Oh, no. Fuck. No landing net, no squid jig. Nothing to get him with, eh? He's going to give you the shit because he knows you can't get him. Have I jagged him? Oh. Is he still there? Yeah, he's, I've hooked him. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh. Like jagged him. Oh, Kenny! <laughs> we got him. <laughs> we scooped him up with a bucket. <laughs> That's awesome. He's made a mess in there. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah. There he goes. Ow, ow, ow. He's trying to bite me. Um, well, you'd, you'd bite Tommy too if you had a hook in your ass. Fucking <laughs> oath. <laughs> oh, we're on. Tiny little. Oh, Sando. Back him back. Oh, it's a good one. That's a good one. It's got Cleves one, a little fatty. Yeah. Oh, oh that's a good one, Kenny. Double bangers again. Okay, not real big. Bottom one, maybe. Sandy. Getting smaller. Yeah. Oh, too slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a good one.
It's a good little morning session. Cleve lost the um, best fish of the trip though, which was a herring. Not good, but um, yeah. I'll clean all these up and uh, I'm not too sure how we're gonna do them. Maybe fillet some, some we just chop the heads off and scale them, gut and gill them sort of thing. Uh, yeah, very good. Been in Augusta for just on a week now, and the weather pretty much the whole time we've been here, other than one semi sunny day, um, has been overcast and rainy. But it's been a good test for the battery. We've not been plugged into any 240, um, running the solar panel around. Half the van is in shade as well, we've got a tree over the top of us. Uh, so I think only the one panel on the roof is actually doing its thing when the sun does come out. So between that one panel and the fold-out panel, um, it's kind of been keeping up-ish, but dropping a little bit every day. So I just plugged it into 240 then, which is not too bad. Um, it's just going to trickle charge the battery. And we'll see how we go, just to keep us in the green. And what was the temperature again? 10 something and it feels like 2.5 yeah so that's what we're dealing with at the moment um, at 8 30 in the morning it's um the wind out there is just icy cold yeah it mm -hmm. says it feels like 2.5 degrees which is crazy for so close to christmas it's ridiculous kenny has got a fireplace in the shed so uh, if we um if we get super desperate we can light the fire in there and chill out in there Kel's just going to relax in her. I'm staying here because it's warm. <laughs> no, I don't blame you. Well, we've finally been graced with some sun. Uh, the last couple of days have been absolutely terrible here. Um, I think it got down to like 8 degrees during the day. So, yeah, it's, it was loose. And now, yeah, other than the wind, there's not a cloud in the sky. But we've just got um, one more day here down at Augusta uh, this morning. It's a job I've been meant to do for a couple of weeks. Uh, we noticed when we sort of left Port Hedland actually that the, um, the pop top was, wasn't was lining up properly when you'd pop it down. The scissor piece at the front that with the spring that sort of holds the um, pop top up, it's broken a couple of rivets there. So it's just hanging on by a thread. Uh, I'll get my rivet gun sorted. I think I've got enough bits and bobs here. And uh, we're literally just around the corner from the hardware store in Augusta. So I'll do that now while we've got a bit of good weather and um, sort out a few little jobs. We have repaired um, one of the rivets up here. And then looking across the top here, I noticed that this one here was pushing out past the rubber, and there you go, there's a, another um, broken rivet. So theoretically this um, scissor lift part of the pop top was just holding in there by the one rivet here. So yeah, anyway, quick fix, a couple of rivets and it's back on the game. Well, nothing's ever that simple. Um, a rivet gun simply just won't fit in the slot. Uh, either inside or outside the van. So I found a little six mil bolt. Um, I'm just gonna drill the hole a little bit bigger and just bolt it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> the 
just tighten it up now. Sweet. Ow, my finger's stuck. Really? <laughs> nah, I got it. Oh. I didn't realise it was getting tightened in there. Don't put your fingers where you wouldn't put your... I don't have one. Okay. <laughs> oh, job done. I uh, just bashed a little bit of silicon around it. Just to be sure, to be sure. It's back up time. Uh, we're heading back up to uh, my parents' place. Everything's pretty much already sorted. A bit neater these days with the outboard being in the back here. Yeah, we just gotta work out a way to secure this down properly. Yeah, just sort this boat out, uh, pack a few things up and we'll get on the road. Thanks Kenny, it, um, it's always a pleasure staying at Kenny's place. Yeah, we have a couple of days of shit weather, but uh, yeah, it was good. Penn and, and um, Jaden came down for a visit and we got to catch up with them, have a few beers and a couple of big feeds and look around the place. And I did just realize that saying that we might be home like by about 11, which with the van means 11.30, it's pie day. Yeah, I've already organised that with Dad. Have ya? Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Dad goes and gets um, homemade pies on Wednesdays. On Wednesdays for lunch. So, Time that perfect. So, and they're pretty good. <laughs> Alright, we've got a... Um, Jed found a mate. We have it. Well, Maybe. don't know if I found a mate or not. We've got the old bush tracker in front of us. Uh, their little sticker says finally free UHF 18 slash 40 see if they want to be my friend uh, finally free bush tracker you guys on channel make sure the volume's up <laughs> I'll try again. I'll try three times. You got a copy uh finally free bush tracker bunbury plates. <laughs> nope. 